In this video, I'll be showing you how to import CSV data into uh, GIS or, uh, or in QGIS software. So, uh, first of all, I've created here a working folder. So I'm going to double click on it. And then inside here, I have this uh, Excel file that contains the data that we're going to plot. So, I'm going to double click on it. And uh, I need to convert this information into a csv uh, or to save it as a csv uh, data so i'll just click on file tab and then go to save us and i'll save us on the same working folder or can just browse to the location where i want my uh, to save the file and then uh, the file type i'm going to select uh, comma csv uh, comma delimited this one here and then I'm going to click on save now our data has been saved as a CSV so uh, whenever you're working with any kind of software uh, you need first of all to close down the CSV data before importing uh, that particular inform data so um, now I'll go ahead and open up the QGIS and then uh, I'm going to click on layer tab right here so that you can uh, import the data and then I uh, click on add layer and we're going to choose add delimited le delimited text layer so I'll click on that and then on uh, under file name just click on this button here and then navigate to the, where you have your CSV data select it and then you click on open now you need to do some settings for uh, on your data. First of all, um, the file format here. The file format is uh, of course CSV, uh, and not unless you have uh, some other format that you, you've used. But for this case, our data is in CSV, and then uh, skip the record record and uh, field options. Go to uh, geometry uh, definition uh, of course our data is uh, point coordinates and then uh, make sure that you select the or define the field properly so for x field is longitude uh, stroke easting and then nothing uh, is actually longitude stroke nothings now at the top of this section we have the geometry uh, or CRS you need to define the coordinate system of your data so if I look at my data I know that uh, this is uh, WGS 84 this data was uh, captured or recorded on WGS 84 so I'm going to select WGS 84 or you can just click here and select WGS 84 EPSG 43 26 you click on ok and then at the bottom you'll see the sample data or the preview of uh, that data if you see anything wrong you can always go back and do uh, your settings uh, correct so i'll click on add and close now you can see that we have our data here so i need uh, to convert this to uh, workable or the format or file that we can easily work with so on the uh, right and left hand side on this attribute table i'm going to right click on it and click on export and click on save feature as now the format you can select uh, any format that you want there are a bunch of them here but uh, for this case i'm going to work with s reshape file and then the file name you need to give it a name uh, first of all you need to uh, save so you click on this button and uh, give your uh, shape file a name i'm going to call this as towns or just uh, kenya cities So I'll click on save and then uh, click OK. 
now i don't need this one here i can just remove right click and remove uh, so we need some sort of uh, base map so that you can visualize on a map or see whether the information is correct so what we can do to add a base map uh, first of all you need a plugin so i'm going to click on plugins manage and install plugins and we are going to install a plugin called uh, quick map services so on the search tab here we'll just type a uh, quick uh, quick map services and then click on it and then just uh, select install plugin so uh, the plugin has been installed already now we can close down and go to a uh, web tab you click on web tab and then click on uh, quick map services and uh, we're going to choose open street maps so open street map standard now you can see uh, the tabs or the uh, the open street map has been overlaid on um, or our data have been overlaid on the open street map so we can do a lot with the, this data you can right click on our data here and go to properties you can change the style for example i can choose this uh, type of style you can also go to labels and uh, do some labels or before you go there you can change the you can change the uh, color say something like green uh, you then go to uh, labels you want our uh, points to be labeled and then at the top here just select single label uh, so uh, the field here uh, select uh, city stroke down that's what we had in our excel data here this one here so uh, we can actually change uh, do some settings let's say i want the font to be times new roman so times new roman then you can change uh, this one to bold and then you can increase the font to something like 14 also the color we can match the color with the uh, uh, with the layer or the label then okay oh, sorry just Uh, so uh, click apply and ok that's all uh, i think that's how you, you can you can import uh, csv data into uh, a qgs uh, see you in the next tutorial